Up in the top corner of Lightroom is a little identity card that you can customize to add your own logo and personal identity to spice up Lightroom and make it truly your own. In this tutorial, I'm gonna share exactly how to add these cards, how to create one in Photoshop, and the different ways you can change the colors here in Lightroom. So let's get into it. Hello friends, my name is Brendan from BeWillCreative.com where we love to talk about photography and photo editing. And in today's tutorial, we're gonna talk all about personalizing Lightroom with your very own custom identity card and colors. If you have your own business or you just want a more personalized look to Lightroom, identity cards are a great way to do just that. It's very simple to do and you can actually create your own custom PNG identity card in Photoshop. I'm gonna walk you through exactly how to do that with your current logo. So with all that, let's into the computer and see how to do it. So what you can customize in Lightroom is this little card right here, as well as all of the colors of these words. What this is actually called is the identity card. And the way you can change this is by clicking on Lightroom Classic and then going down to Identity Plate Setup. By default, you're likely set to Adobe ID, which is why I see my name right here, but you might also see Lightroom Classic, or so it'll just say Lightroom Classic rather than your name registered to your Adobe account. Now, if you wanna add a more personalized look, you can click on the personalized option and it brings up some different settings for you here. By default, it might say your name, but you could just highlight that and then type in, I love Lightroom. And that is exactly what you would see up there. You can also customize the font by highlighting the word and then changing the font just like a regular Word document. So then you can end up with some more interesting looks if you're just wanting a regular text identity plate. You can also change whether it's regular or bold and likewise you can adjust the size like so. To finish things off, you can also change the color as you wish as well. Now, what if you're like me and you already have a logo that you would like to add up here? So that's where you would go and click the use graphical identity plate. Clicking on that, you can now find a PNG file from your computer to add as your identity plate. The problem is not just any logo will work because it needs to fit in a certain size. So that's where going into Photoshop and formatting this all ahead of time is crucial. So let's hop into Photoshop and actually format our logo to fit up in the corner here. Here in Photoshop, we'll just press Command or Control and N to open a new document where we can adjust all of the settings here. Now, if you're on a Mac like I am, you're gonna wanna set the height to be 40 one pixels. If you're working on a PC, I believe it's 45 or 46. As for the width, it's going to depend on the size of your logo, but I'll just set this to 200 for now. With all of this looking good, I'll also change my background to be transparent. With all your settings in order and a horizontal orientation selected, we'll click create to open a new document and it'll create this little sliver for us. Now we'll go and add our logo onto this canvas right here. Now I already have my logo open in this previous document, so I'll just grab my move tool, click and drag it over into my other project and drop it in here like so. Now you can position this however you like, but just remember that the edge of your canvas here is going to line up with the edge of the window in Lightroom. So depending on how far you want your logo to be spaced from the edge, you're gonna to wanna to keep that in mind. For my identity plate, I want my logo to sit a little bit further away from the edge of Lightroom. So I'm gonna place it over towards the right while leaving a big piece on the left as extra space for the gap. I might even grab the crop tool and extend that just slightly further like so. Now that looks really good to me right there. Once you're happy with your logo position, we'll go and save this as a new PNG file. So to do that, just go to File, Save As, Format to PNG, and then I'll call this to Identity Plate Logo and click Save. Now that we've saved our logo back here in Lightroom, we're gonna click Locate File. Now I can go and select my identity logo and it's going to add that right up there for me perfectly. And since I had that additional transparent area, it moved it away from the edge of the window. And I like the look of that personally, but it's up to you how you wanna position your logo within your identity plate canvas. When you're using graphical identity plates, you can't actually do any of the color changing adjustments like you could with the text. So just make sure to do all of that stuff beforehand in Photoshop. Now that your identity plate is all figured out, we can go and also change the look of these options right up here. We can change the font to have a totally different look for our entire Lightroom 
window. It all depends on what you're into and there are a ton of fonts to choose from within this panel here. You can also go and change the size of these words depending on what you're into. But for most cases, 24 or 36 is gonna be your best bet. I kind of like a smaller look, so 24 looks great. Now, you'll notice that there are two different color options here. The first one is gonna change the color of your selected option. So since I'm in the library module right now, that means that the library is going to look green because I've just set that color. If I exit that and then I go and click on my secondary color, that's gonna change the color of all the other text that is not currently selected. For this, I'll just set a dark gray color and then maybe pick a more blue color to match the blue of my logo like so. And at this point, everything is really coming along, but we can do one more step to ensure that we can always come back to this if we would like. And that comes with saving it as a preset. So right here is the custom option. If I click on that, I'll go to save as. Now I'll just call this to Brendan Williams Creative plate and then click save. Now I can always access that plate just by selecting that preset like so. So no matter what changes I make, even if I went back to the default options, I could go and select this exact setup that I have right now just by choosing this preset. Now, once you're happy with all of your adjustments, you can click OK. And now you're left with a really cool look in Lightroom that just gives a more personalized feel and can fit your branding, especially if you're showing your Lightroom to clients. All right guys, so that is how you can set up your very own custom identity plate in Lightroom and add your own logo to the upper bar in the window. I personally have my Lightroom set up just like I showed in this video, but for when I make most tutorials, I just set it to a default so everything looks familiar for you guys. Now, if you enjoyed today's tutorial and you're gonna create an identity plate for your own Lightroom, then make sure to hit that like button down below as it really makes a difference to help more people see this video. Again, my name is Brandon from BeWellCreative.com. I'll catch you back here next time for another new tutorial. See you then.